Hi, these comments are for SF. I am Michael from OTC, OnlineTOEFLCourse.com, and you are completing, I think it's an integrated speaking practice test, right? So let me get the rubrics all set. I just had somebody earlier get 27 to 29 points out of 30 on an integrated speaking practice test. I'm not kidding you. I've had two people in the last 30 days, SF, they've both scored 29 on the TOEFL exam. So it is possible to get that high score. People are doing it right now. Okay, so let's listen to your practice test. The professor gives a lecture about two different protective adaptations. To begin with, first adaptation is defensive adaptation in which some animals protect themselves by a unique body structure. The professor gives the example of turtle that has hard shell which covers its back and vital organs. Their shell has a special physical character and it's so strong that it won't even break. Therefore, it's hard for their predators to get at turtle. Furthermore, second adaptation is offensive adaptation in which some animals protect themselves by body structure that keep predators away. The professor gives the example of porcupines that has thousands of needles on its body like quills. When a predator gets near to them, quills loses and embedded in predator's skin. Therefore, the predators know that they need to stay away from porcupines because they don't want to get hurt by quills. And that's how the professor explains two different protective adaptations. Okay, pretty good. Uh, I think you kind of ran off a cliff with your language use a little bit, trying to explain the porcupine, its quills, and how the quills can get or they become embedded in the predator that's trying to attack it. That was your biggest issue, but the good news is, is I think that you had a pretty clear delivery. Uh, I think you had some problems with your language use. Your topic development was strong. So my first impression is right around 3, 3.0 3 out of 4 due to some limitations with uh, either grammar or vocabulary. All right, let's listen to it one more time. The professor gives a lecture about two different protective adaptations. To begin with, I would say two adaptations that animals use to defend themselves from predators or something. I'd probably say it like that. First adaptation is defensive adaptation in which some animals protect themselves by a unique body structure. The professor gives the example of turtle that has hard... I'd say the, the professor gives the example of turtles or a turtle. I would just say turtles of turtles which have... ...shell which covers its back and vital organs. Their shell has a special physical character and it's so strong that it won't even break. It has a specific, let's go back to what you just said. Covers its back and vital organs. Their shell has a special physical character and it's so strong that. I think once it has a specific characteristic that makes it so strong that. It won't even break. Therefore, it's hard for their predators to get at turtle. It's hard for the predators to eat turtles because of this defensive mechanism or this, d this defensive adaptation, you could say, to more completely connect that back to the uh, task. Furthermore, second adaptation is offensive adaptation in which some animals protect themselves by body structure that keep predators away. Yeah, so they protect themselves by unique body structure that keeps predators away or at a distance. The professor gives the example of porcupines that has thousands of needles on its body like quills. When a so a, a, a porcupine that has thousands of needles all over its body, I would say. Predator gets near to them, quills loses and embedded in predators is... So if, if, the, if the predator gets near or tries to attack the porcupine, the quills will get embedded into the predator. So you're having problems with this. It's called state of passive voice, but the quills get embedded into the uh, predator. Therefore, the predators know that they need to stay away from porcupines because they don't want to get hurt by quills.
And that's how the professor explains two different protective adaptations. Okay, so I think overall you have a pretty good response. So you're explaining the two behavioral adaptations, right? You give the example of the turtle and also the porcupine, then you explain how these two animals have these adaptations that can keep the predators from eating them. So it sounds like you had a pretty overall was a good response. You're just having some problems with, in this case, it looks like with uh, passive voice in terms of trying to explain what the porcupine does and how its quills affect uh, the animal. So I think on this one, I think that my score is pretty accurate. I'm going to put you at 3.0 out of 4, 23 points out of 30 on this practice test.